Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Sean Vandeveen, and I'm back with another astrology video for you. And today I'm going to uh, be talking about one of the uh, rising signs ruled by the planet Mercury, and that is Virgo rising or Virgo ascendant. Now, um, Virgo uh, rising individuals uh, come across as uh, being intellectual, shy, uh, somewhat detached from society. They don't like to associate themselves with the groups all too much. They're very uh, analytical and um, they're, often they uh, possess very uh, scientific minds. They possess a very uh, rational approach to uh, situations and uh, they are known as the uh, hard workers of the Zodiac. They all love to be uh, helpful and to be of service to uh, mankind. Now, it all depends exactly when um, in, an individual is born uh, that determines uh, which uh, rising sign uh, that they have in their uh, natal chart. It is a given. It uh, was the zodiac sign that was rising on the eastern uh, horizon at the time of one's birth. So in this case, if uh, one was born with a Virgo rising sign, and this is the uh, video for them, uh, this may not uh, necessarily uh, apply to uh, those who are Virgo sun or uh, born b anywhere between uh, late August and uh, late September. Uh, Virgo rising uh, people can be born uh, at any time of the year. Um, usually it takes uh, two and a half, two and a half, two or hours, give or take, for a zodiac a constellation to travel through in ascendant. So, um, Virgo rising uh, people, this video is for you. Now, uh, the way I like to uh, talk about rising signs is, is that uh, I like to describe each uh, individual cusp and uh, present the uh, tarot card that uh, symbolizes the uh, zodiac sign uh, in question. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now, uh, when Virgo is sitting on the uh, first house cusp, or the ascendant, um, basically, uh, th these are the uh, qualities that uh, I've uh, already mentioned. Uh, the first house uh, represents uh, the one's physical appearance and uh, how one uh, readily uh, presents himself to uh, the outer world. So in this case, Virgo rising people uh, come across as uh, being intellectual, scientific, uh, detail-oriented, uh, very helpful. They uh, are usually uh, very uh, kind-hearted uh, individuals. Um, they are down-to-earth, with uh, Virgo being an earth sign. And... Um, I find that uh, Virgo rising uh, individuals, uh, as they mature, they uh, enjoy wearing uh, glasses it's in order for them to um, pick out finer details whenever they're reading uh, information from uh, books or through uh, Google or through their smartphone, etc. Um, they uh, may come across as uh, being uh, somewhat aloof. Um, although um, they uh, generally uh, have a friendly uh, demeanor as well. Um, they are usually uh, fair in uh, build and um, they are not too uh, muscular. Uh, they're uh, well proportioned. And so with Libra sitting on the uh, second house cusp, Virgo uh, rising people are balanced when it comes to um, their uh, own finances, and uh, usually uh, they uh, involve their uh, romantic partners in order for them to uh, earn money. Uh, they can earn money through uh, partnership with their with their uh, spouse, and uh, with Libra being uh, ruled by Venus, uh, representing a beauty. Um, to, uh, Virgo rising uh, individuals. Uh, can uh, spend uh, their earnings on uh, the finer things, such as uh, lovely uh, furniture, 
um, a lovely house, uh, lovely uh, accessories for the home, yet uh, they're balanced enough to uh, keep their uh, spending within proportion, within their limits. So uh, they don't uh, spend uh, too greatly. Their vigorizing of people uh, can be uh, frugal in uh, their spending habits. Now, with Scorpio sitting on the uh, third house cusp, Virgo rising uh, individuals uh, really know how to uh, speak the truth, the uh, undiluted truth. Uh, they uh, speak exactly uh, what's on their mind, and uh, they uh, have very uh, analytical probing minds that allow them to um, get to the uh, heart of any uh, particular situation uh, and they're not uh, shy about uh, expressing exactly how they uh, feel which uh, can put others uh, off at times but um, this is how uh, Virgo rising uh, people generally express themselves uh, they uh, express uh, the un the, the unfiltered truth and uh, they can also uh, sense when uh, somebody else is uh, covering up their feelings, um, just uh, not uh, expressing uh, their true emotions. And um, sometimes uh, vergorizing individuals uh, can uh, hurt others by uh, what they have to say, but um, they uh, speak the truth uh, regardless. And with Sagittarius sitting on the fourth house cusp, uh, Virgo rising uh, people love uh, expansive, extravagant homes. Um, they um, may have uh, a family uh, who um, follows uh, different uh, relig religious practices. For example, their mother could be uh, a Christian, while their father could be a Muslim. Um, it's... Uh, all about uh, religious and philosophical expansion when it comes to uh, matters of the uh, home. Um, often vigorizing individuals uh, can uh, get along very uh, well with their uh, family members, uh, with uh, Sagittarius so being ruled by uh, Jupiter, uh, which is the planet uh, representing luck and good fortune. So um, vigorizing individuals are uh, often uh, fortunate enough to have been raised in a, a good home with uh, good um, food, um, good uh, parenting, being raised very well by their uh, parents. And um, yes, they uh, love uh, expansive, uh, they love big rooms, um, they love uh, huge uh, dwellings and uh, Virgo rising people often feel the need to uh, expand their uh, house as if they want to expand their horizons in that regard. Now, with Capricorn sitting on the fifth house cusp, Virgo rising individuals, when it comes to fun, excitement, and games, um, they're, uh, they uh, are somewhat inhibited and uh, lacking... Uh, principles of uh, fun and excitement with the uh, Capricorn being ruled by Saturn Saturn representing uh, limitations uh, they find it hard to um, have a good time I believe and uh, when it comes to um, finding something that they uh, do enjoy uh, it uh, relates uh, to their profession so in a sense uh, work is play is a very good motto for uh, Virgo rising people. Uh, they are, are able to uh, gain uh, pleasure out of uh, work uh, through uh, achieving success, success and uh, fame. And um, they uh, may uh, pursue intellectual hobbies such as uh, reading history, reading, uh, uh, taking a pottery, uh, anything very uh, traditional, uh, anything um, that uh, is uh, some that is uh, Capricorn related, 
like uh, they may uh, read uh, For Fortune magazines. They read may, may read Forbes. Um, any uh, over the counter uh, magazines. Uh, anything uh, very uh, serious uh, in regards to what's uh, going on with the current events, such as the news. Uh, I think Virgo rising individuals uh, can gain great satisfaction from that. Now, with Aquarius sitting on the uh, sixth house cusp, Virgo rising individuals, uh, when it comes to uh, innovation and um, technology and uh, expressing their ways of uh, being a genius um they are very uh, friendly when it comes to when it comes to matters of the workplace um they are very friendly with uh, coworkers uh, often they have uh, ingenious ways of uh improving um the work environment uh, they uh may be uh beyond their time when it comes to um having new ideas, uh, being, being uh, conceptualized uh, in order to uh, improve uh, the workplace. Uh, they get along uh, very well with uh, their co-workers, as I've mentioned, and um, they're quite humanitarian. So if they uh, do uh, end up becoming uh, managers or supervisors, uh, they would... Uh, have a very uh, humanitarian approach on uh, how to uh, treat employees, um, treating uh, others with uh, fairness and uh, respect and uh, equality. Now, with um, Pisces sitting on the uh, seventh house cusp, Virgo uh, rising uh, individuals, when it comes to uh, relationships, um, they seem to attract uh, people who um, are dreamy, uh, who uh, live in fantasy, and um, they're the kind of people who can uh, help uh, the Virgo rising uh, individual um, overcome their uh, anxieties and uh, worries. Um, it's quite typical for Virgo rising uh, individuals to uh, think too much, to uh, worry too much about the smallest details, and um, they uh, need somebody uh, who's... Uh, kind of uh, dreamy, who lives in fantasy, to uh, someone who's very uh, compassionate and uh, very uh, good-natured and sympathetic, who uh, can lend them a supporting hand to uh, give them that, that level of support and uh, just to have that uh, shoulder to cry on whenever uh, they're in despair. Uh, Virgo rising uh, individuals... Uh, um, need uh, somebody who can um, who can uh, sympathize with them for uh, who they are and to uh, perhaps uh, see the uh, sunnier side of life. And with uh, Aries sitting on the eighth house cusp, Virgo rising uh, individuals uh, can very can be very uh, passionate and uh, aggressive when it comes to um, darker matters such as uh, the esoteric uh, meanings of life, uh, sexuality, death and rebirth. Um, it, it's the uh, I am principle of Aries that uh, governs the uh, eighth house in uh, this uh, circumstance. So um, Virgo rising individuals um, may need to, may uh, have uh, been bullied, uh, been ridiculed, teased when they were young and uh, they need the uh, passionate en energy to uh, overcome the um, negative uh, feelings and trauma that they may have suffered in their youth in uh, order to uh, regenerate themselves. It may not be until later in their life that uh, they um, begin to uh, tap into uh, spirituality and uh, develop the inner resources they need to uh, cultivate uh, a deeper spirituality, uh, whether it be through uh, meditation, um, studying metaphysics, and um, when it comes, I think uh, when it comes to uh, sexuality, Virgo rising with uh, 
them being naturally uh, being uh, predisposed to being a shy and uh, introverted. Uh, when they've uh, found the right partner, um, they can uh, be very uh, passionate in the bedroom with the uh, influence of Mars uh, uh, ruling Aries. And uh, Mars uh, also rules uh, the uh, eighth house, which corresponds uh, to the sign of Scorpio, uh, which rules the eighth house. So um, in that regard, um, Virgo rising uh, individuals, once they uh, learn to uh, master them themselves, they can be uh, a pow powerful force to be uh, reckoned with. Now, with Taurus sitting on the ninth house cusp, uh, Virgo rising uh, people, when it comes to um, religion, uh, philosophy, and uh, higher beliefs in higher education, they uh, are very traditional. Uh, once uh, they've uh, established uh, principles and uh, meanings uh, that they can live from, um, they usually uh, they uh, stick to them for uh, the rest of their lives. And um, Taurus, uh, being uh, very stubborn, um, with it ruling uh, the ninth house, uh, Virgo rising uh, people can uh, be unshaken in their beliefs uh, once uh, they've uh, found their uh, belief system. And uh, I think furthermore, um, their uh, religion, the religious beliefs uh, tend to be uh, very uh, conservative uh, with the uh, Taurus uh, being an earth sign. And um, it, uh, their philosophical beliefs uh, are very, very often very uh, practical, um, learning uh, just uh, being uh, able to uh, learn how to um, live uh, th live uh, through uh, by means of uh, security, uh, stability. Um, Anything of that sort. Now, with the Gemini sitting on the uh, 10th house cusp, uh, Virgo rising individuals, uh, when it comes to their uh, profession and uh, personal reputation, uh, they choose uh, professions which will allow them to uh, be very uh, communicative and uh, open with uh, others. Uh, perhaps they can uh, take up a a career in uh, writing or through uh, journalism or through teaching um, anything that allows them to uh, communicate uh, what's on their minds now uh, Gemini is uh, more fickle and it too is uh, ruled by the uh, planet uh, Mercury like Virgo is however um, Gem Gemini is a very uh, communicative sign and with it being in the in the 10th house uh, Virgo rising individuals can uh, often find uh, a success uh, through um, the written word, um, through teaching, uh, anything to do with uh, speaking or uh, lecturing and um, so forth. Now, with can Cancer sitting on the 11th house cusp, uh, Virgo rising uh, individuals, um, they're not... Um, too uh, expansive when it comes to um, group associations. However, um, the uh, people who they uh, find uh, that they uh, like, they uh, treat them like family. Uh, they uh, treat them with uh, warmth and uh, sensitivity. And um, it's often uh, that these natives uh, are found in uh, group organizations uh, which will uh, provide uh, emotional comfort and support to um, those uh, in need. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps they can uh, volunteer in uh, organizations which uh, help uh, the less fortunate or the poor. Um, anything to um, provide uh, emotional support perhaps to uh, the homeless, or uh, they could, uh, they could uh, spend their time uh, volunteering in uh, 
you know, homeless shelters or um, doing a, any kind of uh, community service that um, is a uh, benefit to um, to uh, the community in general in, in terms of um, giving uh, that uh, emotional support. And last but not least, we have Leo sitting on the uh, 12th house cusp. Now, uh, Virgos, Virgo rising people, um, even though they uh, may come across as uh, being uh, shy, anxious, and um, having, uh, having to worry so much, um, they actually have uh, a, lot, a lot of uh, inner strength within them. Uh, and they, which they have to uh, realize, they have to realize uh, not to uh, worry so much about uh, everything going wrong. Um, it's quite often that uh, Virgo rising people, when they uh, do uh, something uh, that uh, is of a great benefit to uh, society at large, often they uh, criticize themselves for um, not doing enough to uh, help out uh, everyone. They feel as if their uh, efforts uh, are not uh, up to their uh, own personal standards, which is why they can also be uh, perfectionists. And with uh, Leo sitting on the uh, 12th house cusp, the, the 12th house representing uh, deeper spirituality and the uh, subconscious mind, uh, Virgo rising uh, people need to uh, realize that um, they just need to lighten up uh, have fun and uh, just enjoy uh, their accom their accomplishments and uh, just live in the spotlight uh, for a little, little bit. Um, they can um, have uh, immense pride uh, once they uh, realize uh, that uh, you know they uh, are able to light lighten up and uh, enjoy uh, the fruits of their accomplishments. But uh, they have to uh, also be aware not to uh, develop uh, too much pride or uh, egotism in the process. The tarot card that uh, represents Virgo rising energy is that of the Hermit. Um, the Hermit uh, card represents uh, introspection, um, a time to uh, pause and uh, reflect on uh, past events. Uh, to uh, meditate, to um, look back on uh, one's life. And um, yes, as you can see here, uh, this card depicts uh, a wise man or uh, a sage, um, somebody of advanced age. And he's uh, gazing, gazing uh, down from the mountain uh, below, uh, perhaps to... Uh, circumstances that are uh, taking place uh, beneath him and uh, he uh, is just uh, taking time to um, ponder uh, what he needs to do in order to uh, fulfill his uh, life dreams, his uh, pursuits, uh, what he needs to uh, learn in order to uh, be uh, fulfilled in uh, his lifetime. Celebrities born with Virgo rising include Madonna, Jay-Z, Keanu Reeves, Bruce Willis, and uh, Brooke Shields. So overall, the uh, Virgo rising uh, native is uh, very intuitive and uh, very intellectual. Um, they can possess uh, many skills that are uh, useful in the workplace. Um, they tend to uh, worry too much, have uh, too much anxiety. And uh, the greatest uh, lesson for them is to um, just not take uh, all these uh, things uh, so seriously, not to worry about the uh, little details, and uh, just have a little bit of fun every once in a while. And um, if they're able to uh, use their uh, great minds uh, into uh, practical use, um, they can be of great uh, service to the world. They are naturally very uh, inclined to uh, help others anyway, so um, they uh, are a great uh, benefit to um, society at large. 
So this has been my interpretation of the Virgo rising personality. I uh, do hope that you found this uh, video to be uh, helpful. If uh, you were satisfied with the uh, level of explanation given to you, uh, please give me a like and uh, give me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please uh, click on that uh, subscribe button. I have uh, lots of uh, content available for everyone and uh, more of it is on the way. So I'll close by saying peace, much love and namaste. God bless you. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Stay safe and uh, be kind to one another. And uh, thank you for watching.